Once again today, President Trump is lashing out at the whistleblower who's coming forward, as well as Democrats for pushing this impeachment inquiry. And just on Monday, the president took his apocalyptic rhetoric to a frightening new level, tweeting out a quote from a Baptist minister and Fox News commentator warning of a civil war like fracture in this nation from which our country will never heal. Nicole Hemmer is an associate research scholar up at Columbia University, and she is the author of Messengers of the Right, Conservative Media and the transformation of American politics. And she just wrote this great opinion piece for CNN.com uh, titled Why It's So Scary When Trump Tweets About Civil War. So thank you for being with me. Why is it so scary? Well, it's so scary because that language of civil war is something that militia groups, white power groups hear as permission to actually engage in more violence. And so that's something that we should be really concerned about. Presidents don't normally encourage this kind of activity, but we already know from the Oath Keepers Twitter profile, so they're um, one of the major militia movements in the United States, that they hear this as something that says, hey, it's time for us to pick up arms and start fighting back. Kamala Harris, you know, obviously so many people have listened to what he said and, and saw, seen his tweets, and Kamala Harris specifically says that he, he crossed a line with his tweet on Monday and that there should be consequences. Take a listen. His Twitter account should be suspended. Um, I think there is plenty of, of, of now evidence to suggest that he is irresponsible with his words in a way that could result in harm to other people. And so the privilege of using those words in that way should probably be taken from him. Now, Twitter is not going to suspend or ban the president of the United States, but uh, what does it say that we are at this point where a sitting U.S. senator is saying this about the president of the United States? Well, I think it speaks to the real danger of his words, right? This isn't just a president who's using apocalyptic rhetoric. He's called for political violence over the past four years. And that is something that senators, people in Congress, party leaders should be standing up against because it has the potential. It already has created violence in the United States. In case you all watching have forgotten, and you point this out in your piece, it rallies. He's encouraged his supporters to, quote, knock the crap out of protesters. Um, he told police officers, please don't be too nice when they're looking to arrest. His word, I believe, was thugs. Mm -hmm. um, and this is what he said right after the whistleblower complaint went public. I want to know who's the person that gave the whistleblower. Who's the person that gave the whistleblower the information? Because that's close to a spy. You know what we used to do in the old days when we were smart, right? With spies and treason, right? We used to handle it a little differently than we do now. I mean, in this climate, you know, we, we so often talk about how people are almost numb to this, this rhetoric, which we shouldn't be, but we, we've seen and heard so much of it. What, what will it take? for this president to be held accountable for his language? Well, so far he hasn't been held accountable, and you, I don't imagine that this is going to be something that appears in articles of impeachment, but it's something that should, because he has sworn an oath to actually protect the United States, and yeah. here he is endangering specific people with his words, and that's a real problem. Nicole Hemmer, good to have you on. Thank you so much. Thank you.